Hey, what's up guys? Hope everybody's doing well and having a great day. In this video, we're going up to South Dakota where you're going to take a look at an excellent video of something very bizarre in the nighttime sky taken by Tim at around 9.15 p.m. Loaded with color, semi-stationary object. Here's a still image of the object in the nighttime sky. We're also going up to Ontario where Mark, Mark S, has shared a video with me of something multiplying in the sky. Once again, nighttime sky. This time, white lights moving horizontally across the sky. They're not coming down like possibly parachuters. Um, these things are horizontally moving lights that, that grow from three to four to five lights, and they look like they're moving together at about the same speed. Have no idea what they are. To be quite honest, I've never seen anything quite like it. As always, I'll leave it up to you guys to decide when we come back and take a look at those cool videos. Also in this video, I've got a brand new picture slideshow, new sky phenomena photos sent in from all around the world. But first, here at the website, quick look at the Schumann Resonance, and you can see there's been a couple of spikes in the last 24 hours, but nothing major. I think it's a residue from the CME that just went past the Earth, looking at the planetary K index. Not too much going on over here. In fact, it's very, very quiet. Looking at the Space Weather Prediction Center, you can see the models are showing an increase in plasma density on the 30th, lasting for about 18 hours. That could produce northern lights in the upper latitudes of planet Earth. Here's a quick look at the Earth-facing side of the sun, looking at sunspots. And you can see we've got three sunspots that are unusually close to each other. They're not very big. We've seen bigger in the past. But solar cycle 25 is just now getting started. So look for these to grow in the future. When we see future sunspots, they will more than likely get bigger and bigger as we move through the solar cycle as we head towards solar maximum. But collectively, these three are very close together. They've been a little bit rowdy, producing smaller Earth-directed uh, solar flares slash CMEs, but they're now turning away from the Earth and will not be problematic anytime in the near future. Hopping over to the Yellowstone supervolcano Caldera, looking at the seismographs that monitor the mighty supervolcano, look about the same as they have been for the last several days. In fact, several weeks, but we do see a increase in activity over here at Parker Peak, but during today's pit stop, I do see a little more activity across the northern tier, albeit small, but nevertheless, it's activity at a super volcano, and it's something that we watch every single day. Now I want to take you guys up to South Dakota, share this video that was shared with me by Tim, who took a video of something really cool in the nighttime sky, had never seen anything like it shared this video with me, and I'm going to share it with you guys. You can see a colorful object, what looks like a stationary object, in the nighttime sky. This is the original video, said it remained in this location for about an hour. Way too big to be a star. Uh, it's way too bright, to be honest, just from a per perspective of viewing this thing with an ordinary camera. It's not like he has a telescope on it. This is an iPhone. Did a great job recording this thing, whatever this thing is. Changing colors. It's changing colors quite rapidly. That's the camera moving back and forth, trying to stay on the object. I think it was moving just a little bit in the nighttime sky. Here I super enhance it, and what I did was just zoom in as close as I could get and slowed it down on the right. The original video is still on the left. This obviously I've zoomed in on and slowed down, and it does not have any what I would call a intelligent design structure, at least that's visible. Keep in mind, this thing's a pretty good ways away. It's dark, it's changing colors, it's like turning on and off. Goes from a very like bright green, and then purple to black. Then it's uh, moving around a little bit. Don't know, I've never seen anything quite like it. Uh, neither had Tim, that's why he took the video and shared it with me. I'm simply sharing it with you guys. I don't claim to know what this is. I'll leave that up to you guys, as always, to decide. What are we looking at here? Is it a star? Is it some sort of a planet? Is it some sort of a craft? Uh, it looks way too big to be any type of uh, a Chinese lantern. I don't know what we've got here, guys. I really don't. Uh, good video, though, coming out of South Dakota of something, once again, mysterious in the nighttime skies of planet Earth. Now we're going to go up to Ontario. This video footage here was sent in by Mark following some mysterious lights in the nighttime sky. 
moving horizontally through the sky. Let me pause it right here. This is what he saw originally, and you can see what looked like three lights, and they're independent lights, or at least they look independent. They don't look like they're attached to any type of structure. In the video, you'll hear him say, hey, mom. He called his mom over to take a look at whatever he was filming in the nighttime sky, and that's all he says and starts out looking like there's two, maybe three, and then it clearly goes to three objects, remains three objects for just a, a brief period of time, and then it will light up again, and you'll have four objects in the nighttime sky. And then four turns to five. You can hear him calling for his mom. Mom? Mom? Come here. He knows he's looking at something. See, here's going to four almost. I think it's at three now. Now it's going to go to four. There's something coming off of this one over here. There's a still image when they turned into five, whatever they are. Those are not parachuters. That's why I mentioned parachuters earlier, because parachuters during the nighttime skies leave sparks as they come down. They have a form of pyrotechnics that they can attach to their boots, and they put on quite a display sometimes in the nighttime skies. That's not what we have going on here. These, these things are way too close to be parachuters anyway, and they're moving horizontally, uh, just slightly moving ever so slow through the nighttime sky. I've got it slowed down here, and I've zoomed in as close as I could get. The one over here on the left develops some sort of a very unique feature off of the bottom of it. I have no idea what that is. Then there comes number five right there, so you have a total of... Of one, two, three, four, five objects in the sky at the same time moving horizontally above Ontario. Here I've enhanced. I haven't altered them in any way. I just simply adjusted the lighting and color. This one's a, a complete uh, format reversal. Light is dark, dark is light. Looking for different possible features that we could see on these things, whatever they are. You can see this thing coming off the bottom of this one over here on the left. Almost looks like some sort of a, a bracket or a 90 degree angle pipe or something coming off of the bottom. See it there? But it's glowing. It's lit up in the nighttime sky. Have no idea what these things are. Pretty cool, whatever they are, moving through the sky. He was uh, very taken by them, or he wouldn't have recorded them. And his mom was outside, apparently, at the same time, but she was off in another part of the, the yard, hadn't noticed them, and he wanted her to come over and see what he was seeing in the sky. So, good observation by Mark out of Ontario. Now I've got a brand new picture slideshow, new sky phenomena photos sent in from all around the world. First photos by Timothy out of Dayton, Ohio. Very ominous looking, low to the ground shelf cloud. Get a load of that. Recent storms moved through the Ohio area. Randy P. out of Pontiac, Illinois. Lonesome towering storm cloud. That's a thunderhead reaching way up into the sky as it's getting ready to storm in northern Illinois. Same type of cloud by Addison out of Nashville, Tennessee. And these photos you see are unedited exactly the way I received them. That is a towering impressive mushroom cloud looking storm big old anvil on the top gary p noticed what looked like yet another submarine we saw one of these the other day out of california this one here i'm not exactly sure of the location but looks like some sort of a ship looks like a submarine moved through the clouds in the sky Great observation. Corey R. out of Barrie, Alabama, sent this photo in of what looks like some sort of a dark rod up in the sky. Have no idea what this is. Just passing it along, guys. Stephanie R. unsure of the location. That there looks like a cobra up in the sky. How about that? Very unique storm cloud from Stephanie R. More from Stephanie here. This is a close-up of the sun as it's setting behind that very unique cloud. Nikki, very impressive moon halo in the nighttime sky. Very intense, almost looks like two. Keith H. noticed a sun dog off to the left of the sun that almost looked like a comet. This is a video of the sun dog. Almost looked like a comet moving through the daytime sky. Great photos, guys. Keep the photos coming. If you have any photos you'd like to share, you can send those to reports at MrMBB333.com. All of the photos end up here at the Sky Phenomena Photo Gallery at the website. And sometimes I'll use them in a video just like you saw right here. Thanks for watching. You have a super day and be safe out there.